The people under fire during the Fort Hood attack remember their brush with death in today's court martial of Major Nadal Hassan. That testimony came after the judge made a decision that was unpopular with Hassan's co-counsel. KXAN's Chris Sadegi was inside the courtroom and has more. A tense exchange took place after Judge Tara Osborne told defense counsel they'd have to stay on the case. Colonel Chris Poppy argued it would force them to violate their rules of conduct as a defense attorney because Hassan is trying to get a death sentence. The judge disagreed, and even though he said he'd appeal the ruling, Poppy and the defense counsel followed the order. Uh, but he's been given an order by the court to, to perform these duties. He's a soldier. He's an officer. He's bound to follow those orders unless they're patently illegal. More than a dozen witnesses of the shooting testified, including several soldiers who were hit. Sergeant Michael Davis says he tried to make a run for the door but was hit in the back. He fell down and pretended to play dead. One witness testified that two soldiers tried to rush Hassan while he was reloading, but he was reloading so quickly that they were gunned down. After nearly three minutes, Hassan went outside and started firing, and nurses inside began a triage normally seen on a battlefield. One nurse said she had to mark a black X on the forehead of the dead so that nurses would know to move on to those who could still use their help. Nearly all the witnesses who testified rendered aid and tried to save the lives of the soldiers in the readiness processing center that day. Their actions likely saved many lives. And some of those lives that were saved could testify themselves before this trial is over and come face to face with Hassan. But so far, Hassan has not cross-examined any of the witnesses that were there at the SRP the day of the attack. We're at Fort Hood, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.